all right y'all got the exhaust just up there with a couple of zip ties so i can get everything welded up in place uh as you can see it's gonna it's gonna be that muffler gonna be kind of in a little bit that tip but i'm going with a, a four inch tip uh this is a flow master f fx series three and a half inch straight through exhaust it's gonna give me a nice deep rumble not that uh raspy rumble like the two chamber muffler this is like a straight through mellow rumble not too loud it's 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 not a it's not a chamber muffler it's a it's a, a fiberglass pack muffler that i'm doing on here so it's gonna give you it's gonna give you that nice nice mellow sound when you get in and not gonna get on your nerves or none of that i'm gonna connect all this i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna uh, get into that right now what i finna do is um uh, take all the brackets the little tabs and stuff off of this take this take this off take take that off take that off and weld it up to that one and get that and get the muffler itself in place where i don't have to use the zip ties to hold it up while i'm doing my modification and then once i hold it once i get it well um it's held in place on its own i'm gonna mark right here where i want to cut off at where, where i want to cut off at and bring my pipe into it like that and uh i'm gonna cut this back cut that back a little bit and then i'm gonna cut a little cut a little off of here and get this welded up like that so it's gonna have a a four inch 90 on it and it's gonna sound real good man straight through muffler not a bunch of money tied up in it i might start making them and selling them i'm um, not for sure yet and depending on if i can find some pieces like that that i can make without have to use the older muffler uh, with the work and the material and and if i have to ship it i'm gonna try to keep it at a reasonable price probably like 400 dollars shipped to the door with the you know you have to pay for my creation you have to pay for the materials in the shipping so um i think with with me building this muffler i probably got probably gonna have um uh, probably 200 dollars 200 dollars worth of labor on this right here so uh stay tuned and i'm gonna jump back into the video and let me get to work because i'm filming with one hand and i'm gonna film a little bit as i go when i get to that other side over there and i keep y'all posted we're gonna jump right back into the scene i appreciate it all right y'all jumping back into it uh i got this little piece this is gonna be my first well right here i got this little piece off the uh stock muffler what it does is spaces out the uh muffler from the um the heat shield back here so i'm gonna get that tacked in and welded up and then i'm gonna move along and see what i'm gonna do about this because this actually kind of i might have to move this down or go get some rod to bring it on around because i want this a little bit more secure i don't want to build a well from that to there so i think i'm gonna cut that off and bring that down here and bring and probably go get me a piece of rod or something and come on down and wrap around this muffler i got to figure that out once i and now i finna um jump on into it and uh well this and i'm gonna click right back to the scene all right as you can see i got that tacked in place for right now i'm not gonna take the muffler down doesn't make any sense to take the muffler down right now till i figure out what i'm gonna do about this so let me go grab some strap metal and get right back into the video right, right y'all what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this off with the grinder and move this back here so that way it have a study well from the body on to this rod and on down and then i can come behind it and hit it with a bead so i think that's what i'm gonna do so i might be able to use just this right here and not no additional strap metal or nothing like that so cut this off grind that down make it real pretty grind it make it pretty and then bring that that arch to right here all right y'all all right y'all jumping right back into it i feel a little better that now i done cut that and um moved that from up there to brought it back now i got a better well and more security on the body i can push this down and get a good well on that right there and i'm gonna do the same thing for the other side for, for that side right there i'm gonna do both of these at the same time so uh next video next clip will be that it this will be already done um i'm working with just my iphone and just me so i don't have nobody record me while i'm welding and stuff like that so that's why i'm giving y'all step by step of the um process but yeah 
I didn't have to get no additional metal from nowhere else. This is an easy thing. Cut that off, bring that back, push that down like that, get a good bead right there, and you good to go. Should be nice and secure. And then my next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these right here. I got cut the hooks off the old muffler. I'm gonna get it back to uh, right here, put pressure on that. And then I got the hook right here. I'm gonna go probably about right along in now with the pressure on that right there. And that's gonna keep this this uh this spacer that i welded in here is going to keep this from pulling this spring is going to keep pressurized on it keep it from pulling towards the frame and keep that nice gap in between keep it off the um heat shield so uh let me jump into this welding and i uh get back right with you uh, uh <clears throat> my bad i get back right with y'all as soon as i get this uh these two right here spot welded up right now i'm just going to do all spot weld while the muffler is on the buggy and then like i said once i get everything secure i'm gonna cut the zip ties i'm gonna even get this the, this right here tacked in place the tailpipe the uh, only thing that i'm not gonna do while um um right now is this i'm gonna hold off on that side because that side gonna take a little bit more skills but i can basically freestyle this side right here I, i've been looking at the uh buggy long enough to know what i want so uh let me get into this video right quick uh jump into the next clip all right y'all got everything uh tack welded got that tack welded right there uh got that tack welded that tack welded got my measurements rights on that so the uh spring can hold tension on it and i also got that that one right there tack welded too and got that that space about that tap welded so now i'm moving on along look like i need to bring um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this down with the zip ties take everything down uh spot weld these on back you know get these wells here secured and um what i'm gonna do is take two inches i'm gonna take two inches off of this take two inches off of this and then i'm gonna weld me a plate right there and then i'm inside that plate I'm going to cut me another hole that's going to be um, 2.52 inches and it's going to go inside that plate right there. It's going to look real clean and nice and it's probably going to be about right there. That's about an inch right there and then from here on out it's 2 inches. So I'm going to cut 2 inches off and then put a plate, a flat plate right there. So I'm uh, going to get ready to jump into that and uh, take the muffler down and get the other spot wells welded up so i won't hit nothing or move nothing like i said they just spot welded so i don't want them to come off so i'm gonna uh, get it welded up all right as you can see i got the um uh, got a one inch it's about a one inch or inch and a half i mean a half an inch or about one inch let me see how much that is one inch i'm gonna say one inch we want one inch so i cut uh two inches off and i'm and i finna get ready to get me a piece of i got a piece of flat metal up there and i'm gonna cut me a circle and i'm gonna weld that weld that circle right there a flat plate and then when i uh i'm gonna come back and stick this like just hold it right there and then i'm gonna get my sharpie and um i'm gonna get my sharpie and um mark it and then that's why i'm gonna weld this right here i'm gonna tack this in right here and then we'll pr probably be pretty much done haven't cut nothing off that end yet i'm gonna get over there i got started on this end and i i kept rolling so um i get over there to making the tailpipe in a minute i know that's supposed to be next but um i'm going on with this side over here so i'm about to go cut my um piece of three and a half inch circle of metal right here flat piece of metal and uh weld it up weld it all the way around and i'm gonna come back sharpen it like i said and uh, i'm gonna hop right back in into the video all right y'all got the uh plate welded in the in the place uh it's nice and sealed so i'm gonna go ahead and put three bolts right here and tighten them up a little bit and uh go ahead and run my sharpie around where I can cut the uh, hole out with the plasma cutter. So uh, I'm finna hop right into the video. 
Y'all know I'm working with by myself, so I don't have nothing to hold it or whatever while I tighten up on everything. But yeah, that's what's going on. And um cut that two point uh two point uh two and a quarter hole right there. So that's what I finna get ready to get into. I got my my hole um marked up. Notice that it's not centered. So don't try and cut the whole center because this pipe is a little, sh you know, I'm not going to say short, but you don't want to put no stress on the thing up there, the, um, the flex pipe, and then later on you get a hole in that. So this hole is not going to be centered. This hole is not going to be centered when you do it. So make sure this is mounted in a position that it's going to be in and bam, right there. So now I'm going to take this over to the plasma cutter, cut a hole in it, come back um spot weld it and then i'm gonna unbolt right here get it off the machine and weld it on up and uh that should be pretty much it uh might take an inch another inch off this uh 45 right here four inch and then that's gonna be pretty much it for this exhaust and you can also bolt the uh factory cover on it if you don't like the way that look back there you can bolt the factory cover on it so uh let me hop this thing on over to the plasma cutter and get it all uh, cut up get this hole cut open so i can get it welded up got the hole cut let's see how she fit that's perfect perfect i'll walk my wells up to it that's perfect all the way around yep that's perfect that's all i want let me get this took off the machine and weld it up but let me spot weld it first and then I get it took off. All right, y'all, this is what I did. I went back and kind of opened up the hole a little bit with the plasma cutter so I can get at least a little hair worth of pipe sitting in there. I just wanted to sit in there just a hair instead of me walking it on the outside. So I'd rather feel that in than having it on the outside. So let me go ahead and get it tacked up and uh, get it all sealed up and locked in place all right y'all here go other exhaust this thing is sick this thing is sick looks good looks great sound good it sounds like a uh, Harley Davidson or something, man. It sounds great. It sounds great. Four inches off, man. 